AITA for not inviting them to my Christmas party after they didn't invite me to their wedding? I throw a pretty big Christmas party every year going on a decade now. A few years ago at one I threw my friend Tara met my former co-worker Tony and they hit it off. They dated for a while. And two years later, once again at my Christmas party, she showed up with a ring on her finger and they announced for the first time that they were engaged. I was super happy for them. They got married this spring. We didn't get invited. When I was sending around my party invitations this year, I didn't see any reason to invite them back if they didn't think I wasn't worthy of making their guest list I have known them both for years. Basically introduced them, and they literally announced their engagement at my home. It got back to me today that they're very upset with us for not inviting them this year. That my party is something they consider special and they think I'm being petty. A couple friends mentioned it was a smaller wedding and they feel like I'm just punishing them. It wasn't though, there were probably 200 people there and I knew at least 50 of them. And I was a little surprised at some of the names that made the cut over us. I didn't make a stink about it or anything. But I don't see why I should welcome them into my home again after being snubbed like that. My partner thinks I should just let it go and invite them back. But I don't see a reason why I should. AITA? NTA. Normally I'd say that they can invite or not invite whoever they want to their wedding. But by that same logic, you can invite whoever you want to your party. You're upset they didn't invite you. They're upset you didn't invite them. The difference is they're using your Christmas party as a celebration of their relationship. They feel entitled to your Christmas party because it's important to their relationship. But they don't view you as important. They'll keep using your party to announce life events because they feel entitled to your party as a celebration of them. 200 people is not a small wedding. But if they think it is, you have two new friends you've invited and you just couldn't fit them in. 2. So sorry, darlings. It's just a small party. You understand, right? NTA. Also don't think it's petty. We don't have to prioritize people who don't prioritize us. NTA. They'll just have to find another free public venue to announce their next milestone. I'm betting she's pregnant and they planned on announcing it at your party. NTA if they can't even invite the person who introduced them to their wedding then I don't think they should expect an invitation to your Christmas party. If you're not close enough to make it to the wedding invite list, why should they be close enough to you to make it to your Christmas party? NTA you can invite and not invite whoever you want without any reason. And if they want one, it is a smaller party this year winking face. Edit. Thanks for all the upvotes and my first award ever. Four Leaf Clover Four Leaf Clover Four Leaf Clover you guys are great. NTA they chose not to invite you. You can do the same. 200 isn't a small wedding they deliberately cut you out. Why on earth do they deserve an invite to your party? NTA. They met at your Christmas party, announced their engagement two years later at your Christmas party, and now they're mad they can't announce their pregnancy at this year's Christmas party. How can two people you've known for years and considered friends not invite the person that introduced them to each other to their wedding? NTA they showed you where you are on their hierarchy, you're just following suit. NTA invite who you want there and don't invite who you don't want there. After all, you're just having a smaller Christmas party with checks notes 200 guests. Right? NTA they clearly don't value you like you did them. But expected to still be invited to your party? No way. They don't deserve to come. Don't just give in like your husband wants you to. NTA. They just wanted to get a free party for when they first met. 
They already got an engagement party out of you after all. They didn't owe you an invite. But the fact that they didn't even think that it would be nice to do so is telling. They didn't even bother to talk to you in person. Have a great party with people who do actually consider you. NTA. If your friends bring it up again. I would say something like they don't actually want to see me though. Do they? They want to come to my house because that's where they met and announced their engagement. They are upset is because they use my party. Which I loving arrange for people I care about. As a nostalgic relationship moment. They don't actually care about me and my partner and what the party is actually about. Which is friendship. They only care that it's special for them. I am sure they wouldn't even be talking to other about the party if I had a summer garden party. And didn't invited them. NTA. It's your party. You can invite whoever you want. And seriously you'd think if you introduced them. The least they do would be invite you to their wedding. I wouldn't be overly petty. Or make a big deal out of it. Or go out of your way to tell them why. No sense in starting drama where it doesn't need to be. But also. Your party. Your rules. I'd have been peeved in your situation too. NTA. It's your party so you can do what you want. Also they might just want an invite to your party to use as another announcement opportunity. Maybe they are pregnant now and want to use your party and piggyback off of it like they did for their engagement announcement. But if you don't invite them, where will they announce their pregnancy? S. NTA. I may be wrong, but it just seems that they're more upset about not being invited to an event they now consider their own special day, instead of how they feel about you as their friend doing that to them. NTA. I think it's pretty clear that despite being the reason they met, you weren't important enough to be invited to their wedding when 200 other guests were. So I don't see why they're entitled to an invite to your Christmas party. NTA. What did they expect? I would have done the same thing as you. NTA. Petty though? Hell yeah. And I respect you for that LMAO. NTA. But I think I know what's happened. When someone holds a big party like yours. Especially if it becomes a tradition. It's easy for people to stop seeing it like you having your friends over for a party. And start seeing you like an official organizer for a community event. Of course. If you actually talked about it that way. People would realize they're wrong. But it's trickier when it's subconscious. When they invite people to their wedding. They feel like it's their event. Of course it's still rude of them to not invite you. But it's not your right to come. But when you don't invite them. It is more like being disinvited from a community party that they have a more impersonal right to. Attend. They've stopped seeing you as a friend. And started seeing you as an organizer. And your party is some sort of common good. Of course. This is a. Possible. Explanation. Not an excuse at all. I just think it's fascinating when this sort of thing happens. If you enjoyed this video. Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like. Share. And subscribe.